Yo, what's going on, y'all? You know what I'm saying? This is, you know, Mr. FEMA 2009. Um, you know what I'm saying? Back at it. A one-on-one -on -one conversation. I ain't feeling good right now. You know what I'm saying? Kind of getting, I have a cold. Got the blanket around me and stuff. Got the thick sap going around, rubbing on my neck and stuff. But this is one video I got to uh, <coughs> do for um, some people out there. You know what I'm saying? Jimmy the Cricket. Man, Jimmy the Cricket is back at it again. Jimmy the Cricket. I mean, when I heard this story... <clears throat> I had to laugh my damn self. Jimmy the Cricket sit there and I don't know what the hell Jimmy the Cricket got into. You know what I'm saying? Got himself involved in or whatever, whatnot. I doubt. But Jimmy the Cricket got into some stuff. Okay. Jimmy the Cricket right now and Felix the Cat may not be talking to each other, whatever, whatnot. So Jimmy the Cricket wants to take his little body and climb on top of of the born and listen to a conversation okay the people that was in the born was like you know some spaniels okay about like nine to ten of them so jimmy the cricket gonna say that the spaniels was having fornications do you know what fornication means fornication means having relationships nine to ten of them as jimmy the cricket has said okay I'm thinking to myself, now, why in Sam's hell would you sit there and climb on top of a born to listen or see what's going on in somebody else pull, you know what I'm saying, stall or something, whatever. Whatever the hell it was, you know what I'm saying, but I don't still understand nine to ten people in a, you know what I'm saying, jock room or something, that's small. You know, so, but anyway, he said nine to ten people was in there. Okay, funny, Caitlin, you know. So after that, after it's supposed to be named fornicating or whatever, they had a conversation. Mind you this, they they speak Spanish. Jimmy the Cricket don't know shit about Spanish. So Jimmy the Cricket gonna say that, um, report that they said they out to get him. And they're gonna kill, um, oh Lord, I almost spoke the word, God damn it. They gonna kill, <laughs> they gonna kill Jimmy the Cricket. <laughs> So, uh, Jimmy oh, shit, fuck, hell. But anyway, <coughs> Jimmy the Cricket said, um, they don't have to kill him or whatever. So, Jimmy the Cricket took himself and climbed right back off the barnyard. Mind you, this if you ever been to the barn or been to the racetrack, the barnyard is behind the racetrack, not the, just the regular barn like you have in your own pasture or your barnyard or your grandfather's house. The barn yards is in the back of the race tracks. Okay, that's some big ass barn. Okay, so Jimmy the Cricket is walking to go get his, I guess, get somebody to truck or go into his vehicle, or whatever. So while Jimmy the Cricket walking to his uh, vehicle, he noticed one of his spaniels sitting there standing up. So Jimmy the Cricket said that when he passed by that ex spaniel guy, you know what I'm saying, that amigo, that the amigo phone lit up. <clears throat> Mind you, this. I don't know what's wrong with Jimmy the Cricket, but let me show you my phone. When somebody calls my phone, it's going to light up. So therefore, if somebody would have called them, or their phone would have been ringing, maybe if their phone was on vibrate or something, it's going to just lit up, light up. It's going to light up. And then it's at nighttime, it's going to light up. You, f you feel me? You know what I'm saying? It's going to light up. So at the same time, so... Jimmy the Cricket, when he said he got to his truck or whatnot, they had another Espanol by his truck, and he said that the Espanol phone lit up. Mind you, it's going to be like this at nighttime. Well, duh, you know what I'm saying? But, I be damned. The motherfucking king got some goddamn gum on the goddamn blanket. Be dead. Look at that gum. These motherfuckers here is crazy. But anyway, I'm going to be dead ass. Anyway, but back what I was saying. So, then I got this shit on my hand. I got to get this off my hand. That make no sense. Damn children. But anyway, like I was saying about the phone. Okay. 
the phone, you have a phone. If somebody walked by you and your phone, and you happen to have the phone ring, you know what I'm saying? Usually people will have their phone on, maybe vibrate or something because they're in the boring, but it's in the back, you know, jock room, whatever. So your phone ring is on vibrate. This will shell come up. All the side. This shell come up. It's gonna, you know, display or whatever, and it's still gonna vibrate and it ain't gonna say nothing. But Jimmy the Cricket so say that they out to get him. They making codes. So every time he saw that, then that, then that, then that, it's supposed to be a code or whatever. Something is wrong with Jimmy the Cricket. I swear to God, something wrong with Jimmy the Cricket. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 and that. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Everybody phone's going to do that. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. I'm just, I'm still a little strut about this damn gum on this blanket. But anyway, <clears throat> look at the ass when we get back. I already know who did a fat daddy. But anyway, back to the story about it. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be in, um, they got into some, uh, red, you know what I'm saying, whatnot. Solution, you know what I'm saying? Solutions, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say the word, but you're saying some red white girl. Put it like that. Some red Christina Aguilera. You know. But... You know, they're hallucinating all this stuff going on. Man, stay off that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm scratching my nose because I'm, I'm, you know, not trying to point out somebody. Like somebody say, like, you know, like somebody named Thunder that always likes to sit there and tell Mother Bear what's going on. But anyway, Thunder. <laughs> Shit, I'll be another scoop for you. But anyway, oh. Um, Yes, I said thunder. I follow me. <laughs> but anyway, oh, uh, something is really wrong out there. You know what I'm saying? With that situation, I don't know what to say about it. But I mean, say I just pray that it, it shall get better with uh, Jimmy the Cricket because it's really crazy out there, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm just bringing this blog just for people to sit there and know what's going on because you know. Other family members are worried about you and, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, get your shit together. Get it straight. And Thunder, I know you're going to be at work and uh, clap your knees together. I'm worried about this video. Okay? Hey, Nikki, hey, Nikki. Check the throat. Check the throat. Meh. <laughs> yeah, yes. Let me see how I got. Okay, I got time to start. So let me just go back on. Um, back to uh, Jimmy the Cricket, you know. You know, I, everybody feels like Jimmy the Cricket. I don't know. What, I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words right now. Because it's very, very crazy that Jimmy the Cricket feel like they out to get him. So, whenever uh, they told Jimmy Cricket's sister, that is my mo my mother, okay, you know, who cares, but uh, it's my mother, you know, Sanyel Clark, <laughs> but uh, she felt like, uh, okay, that's, oh, you're lying, that's just, uh, are you for real, why would you say that, you know, same time, they need to get something together, any family member that's out there watching this, from Houston, going down to California, going down to Appaloosa, anywhere, California, wherever you at, Jimmy the Cricket needs some help, for real, you know what I'm saying, and if it's, uh, if anybody else that's close to him that's watching this, I'm not talking about Jimmy the Cricket, the problem saying Jimmy the Cricket, but you know, Jimmy the Cricket, you know what I'm saying, we just gotta pray for Jimmy the Cricket, cause you know, you know, people do things that they don't want to do in life, but, you know, it shall get better. But at the same time, if somebody's out there for Jimmy the Cricket, Jimmy the Cricket need to stop because, I mean, I don't want to say that, you know, something might happen bad, really bad out there, you know what I'm saying, one day, you know, so, you know, somebody need to call Jimmy the Cricket and, you know, check up on him, see what's going on and, you know, ask him, you know, get, you know, a little rehab. Hey nigga, hey nigga, you know, rehab. But, you know, other than that, I don't know what to tell you. But, you know, 
Let me go on to my next person since I'm talking about Jiminy Cricket. I'm going to talk about this individual. I'm going to say their name because I don't care. Their name is Marty Clark. Okay, Marty has called me the other day. And my phone, you know, Lexus had messed up my phone, so all my numbers had to get messed up. So when he called, he was like, Oh, Brian, uh, I know how you calling me and stuff like that. And I said, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah, you were just calling me off of Joyce's phone. Now, mind you, Joyce, my auntie, lives in Dallas, Texas. Why would I be on Joyce's phone and calling you from Joyce's phone? Then he going to say, oh, I already know how you're doing it because somebody showed me how you're doing it. You could be using somebody else's phone number to call. I'm like, and then he's going to say, well, what are you doing? Morty has got the dial tone. I cannot stand Morty. Morty gets on my nerves. Morty needs to come out the closet. Out the box. Out the Egypt box. Out the China box. Out the China cabinet. Out the curio cabinet. Out the horse cabinet. Medicine bottle. Shoe box. He needs to come out the vacuum clean bag. <laughs> The vacuum cleaner. He needs to come out of something. Because this man gets on my goddamn nerve. And everybody knows that Morty gets on their nerve. Everybody gets. Morty gets on everybody's nerves. I mean, seriously, he gets on everybody's nerves. You know what I'm saying? You know, they're just to put a lot of icing on the cake. You know, I'll talk about him later. Because I, I, want, I want to give y'all some stories about what my uncle Marty has had told us previously in the past. And you know, it's kind of like life threatening. I mean, because it's like something, something I'm ready to say. You know, I know I'm crazy. Everybody should be more that collect, but I be damn. Hell to the now. All the ass is crazy. But enough of talking about, uh, chit chatting about them two, Jimmy the Cricket and, uh, man, I don't feel good for shit. And no, I'm not digging in my nose. I'm scratching the top of my nose. It's itching. But it look like I am digging my nose, but who gives a care? But I'm scratching my top of my nose. But, you know, I'll get back to y'all momentarily. Just want some details, you know, the aftermath of the aftermath, you know. But I can say this. Somebody's stealing money. I'll let you know soon. Thunder. <laughs> Ha, <laughs>